Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of TradingView. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with how TradingView works and have used it in the past if you are a trader and you've been doing it for some time now. However, this, this video is really focused for beginners and people that are new to the platform. So, I'm going to split this series up into four different parts and part one is just going to be a quick run through about the platform itself and kind of just getting started on the platform. So like I said, if you're new to TradingView or if you're new to trading, essentially what it is, is a platform that investors or traders might view to scan the markets. So let's just get straight into it. As you can see here, this is the TradingView website. Now just to get started. Um, if we click onto the market section here, your screen might be white and this might be just be the case because I think I'm in dark mode at the moment. But if you want to change between the two, you are able to go onto this uh, profile icon in the top right and, you know, flick between the two. But as you can see here on the markets tab, we have indices, stocks, cryptos, futures, forex, bonds, ETFs and so on. So not, depending on what you like to trade and what you want to look at, you know, TradingView does cater for all types of markets. So at WB Trading, we do look at Forex. So if you scroll down here, we have this Forex tab. And what you're able to do is click on this box at the bottom right of the screen and load up your chart. Now, as you can see here, we have green and red candles. We have a grid on the back. You may even have this watch list appear on the right hand side when you launch up your chart. And we also have this dotted line at the bottom. Now, this is just a volume bar. Yours might appear with, you know, higher sticks um, or wicks, should I say. But if you don't use volume in your trading, what you can do here is come up to the top left of the screen and remove that from your chart. And if you did want to add it later down the line, we do have an indicators tab. And in a later video, I will show you how you can add the indicators back to your chart and pick whatever indicator suits your trading style. So on the right hand side, as you can see, we have our watch list. Now we are able to mess around with this. You can add, add markets to your watch list by clicking on the plus icon. You can remove markets um, and so on. But for now, I'm just going to keep that closed. Like I said, we have our green red candles and our, and our grid at the back. Personally, what I like to do is change the color of my candles. Now, some people say it helps psychology. I've just been trading for some time now and I've just decided, you know what, I don't like the green and red candles, let me change them. So if you want to do the same, what you can do is right click on the chart and it will bring up this tab here. And what you want to do is click on the settings at the bottom. Now personally, I like to have my candles grey and black, very boring I know, um, but I'm a basic guy. So as you can see here, I am changing my green candles to grey and my red candles to black. Now this isn't, you know a make or break point this is just something that i like to do um, when looking at my chart if you wanted to change them to you know green and and purple or whatever you like you can obviously mess around with that and um, whatever whatever suits you but oh let's just go back onto that one and black furthermore there is this grid at the back and i prefer to have it plain so if you go into the canvas section and here you will see a tab saying grid lines you can remove them off your chart and it just looks a bit cleaner so if we okay that now, as you can see, our chart is now looking slightly better, if you were to ask me. Um, but just to get into it a little bit more, as you can see on the left hand side, we have our tools section. So we have our cursor, trend lines, Fibonacci, um, position sizes, uh, you know, um, shapes, arrows, text, so on, depending on what you want to use for your analysis. But we will, we will dive into that on part two. Up here, we can see our market. Now at WB Trading, we do focus on GBPUSD and GBPJPY. So if you click on this uh, market scanner tab at the top left, type in the market you want to look at, you will see here a whole load of GBPUSD markets. Now the reason for that is because there are a bunch of different brokers um, supported by TradingView and you can kind of flick between them and whatever suits you, um, you can obviously pick that broker. Now I use FXCM. Um, but obviously, as you can see here, we have a Wanda, Capital, uh, Com, Forex.com, Pepstone, IC Markets. So what I'd recommend doing is kind of sticking to the same broker throughout. Now, like I said, I use FXCM for mine. So when you flick between the markets, your, your chart layout will remain the same. Um, however, like you can see here, this is just on the simple plan. So this is completely free to use. 
Um, but what I'm going to quickly dive into now is just show you some of the different plans that TradingView offer. And in order to do that, it did actually make me sign in. So it might be a case of having to sign in or create an account with TradingView. But if we go onto the save with an annual plan, as you can see here, we have three different tiers. We have Essential, Plus and Premium. Now, as you can see here, I'm currently on the Essential plan. You can flick between the two. So you can either pay um, annually, which is 155 a year, 300 a year for the Plus and roughly 600 for Premium. Now, if you are new to training the trading sorry the free platform will be fine for me i use the essential plan and with that i get two charts per tab five indicators per chart ten thousand worth of um, candlesticks that you can go back and back test through um, as well as price alerts technical alerts um, no ads was a big one for me um, as you can see if you are using the free platform the ads will start to irritate you so that was a big reason as to why i was on the essential plan um, however, I do tend to look at two markets at once. So the essential plan works fine for me. But like I said, with the plus, you are kind of getting twice as many charts per tab, um, double the amount of indicators you can use. However, if you're using 10 indicators, you know, as a beginner, you'll probably get overwhelmed with that. So I like to keep it simple and just say the essential plan is great. But as you can see here along the top as well, we have a community tab on trading view and you know as you can see here there's a bunch of trade trade ideas if you wanted to look at stocks cryptos forex now if you are already learning a strategy and you know you don't want to get overwhelmed then this section isn't for you it's more so you know educational ideas for beginner traders just to kind of get you on the right path to begin your trading journey there is also a new section so if you wanted to keep on top of global affairs going on you are able to kind of scroll down this new section um and like I said, just see what's going on in the world. You can see what's going on with the Forex, the Forex world, the, the news going on with indices, cryptos, futures, and so on. And then, um, yeah, here, here's just a bunch of brokers that trading viewer offering. So I think for this video, we can leave it here. Like I said, I just wanted to give you a quick run through of what the trading view platform is and kind of how you can get your way around it just to begin with. In the next video, I'm going to touch up on a little bit more on the charting techniques. So, you know, looking at all the different time frames, you know, all your indicators, how you can set price alerts on trading view. Um, and I also wanted to touch up on the later videos on how you can add your broker to trading view and actually place a trade using trading view. And then part four is going to be trading with um, WB strategy and a little bit on how we trade using trading view. So for that video, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. I hope this was insightful for you. You know, if you are new to trading view as a platform and you were clueless about how to use it. Um, so yeah, we'll wrap it up there and I'll look forward to catching up with you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.